Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I am building out of Streets of Gotham and Simeon is building out of Batman. So, Simeon, give us the rundown of your team. All right. It's from Batman. The Correct. Oh. Uh, starting off on the team, yeah. I got this sweet looking guy with some slick shades and even slicker hair. It's the bad Samaritan. He has stealth. And then he's got uh, mastermind and super senses. I think there's exactly one person on my team he'll be able to mastermind to, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's Catwoman, so there's that. Uh, he starts with Outwit, goes to Perplex, and then he's got a special damage on clicks 3 and 5. That is Tactician can use Outwit when he uses it to counter a power or ability on a target. The same power or ability is also countered on any opposing characters adjacent to the target. So better watch out, Calder, if you group them up and then I'm like, uh-uh-uh, no carry ability, because that's a ability that I can apparently use to Outwit. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> so he's also got the calculator team ability and uh that's just wild card i believe so uh it actually does give him like a little bit of something for 83 points 83 whole points it's pretty pretty awful to be honest uh it's mid dial psychic blast he's the namesake of one of our one of our one of our segments we can't be rude to him <laughs> he's kind of bad not gonna lie six range also he can shoot out of adjacency so there's a few cool things um Haunted Tank, so it's tempting to pilot the Haunted Tank with Bad Samaritan, just because uh, then it's got a pilot. Haunted Tank has Passenger 3, it has a pilot ability, General Stewart's Council, Prerequisites, Soldier Keyword, don't have any of those. Uh, then also Jigsaw Tank Mechanics is Prerequisite Warrior Keyword, which I think Big Barda might have. Uh, yes. So, if she pilots it, then the Haunted Tank gains uh, support, but only to target characters with the vehicle keyword. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So none of this will be happening. When it does, modify either result of the 2d6 roll with so, a heal by plus one. Jigsaw Tank, baby. Jigsaw Tank. Yeah. Um, then it's got a uh, special improved movement, unstoppable. Improved movement ignores blocking terrain, destroys blocking terrain as it moves through it. Um, it, of course, has the vehicle symbol, uh, standard speed symbol, eight range, one lightning bolt. Uh, one trait, nice shot gust, direct hit. When Haunted Tank uses energy explosion, damage dealt to target of the attack is penetrating damage. So I've got energy explosion spread out throughout my dial got some decent reducers top dial then i've got this special defense ability in the middle which is friendly characters adjacent to the haunted tank can use toughness when they are dealt damage roll a d6 and on the result of one deal the haunted tank tank one damage so that's kind of cool helps me reduce some mm -hmm. stuff um also a speed ability that is running shot and ram and then of course Ram is moving a straight line, make a close attack against all characters you move through, and then at the end take uh, damage equal to the amount of characters you hit. So, that's fun. 136 points for this bad boy. It looks like a tank. That's pretty cool. I'm not seeing the haunted part so much. Yeah, there's the... Tank, yes. Oh, I guess it says the words haunted tank on the front. Never yeah, mind, excuse me. Kind of ghostly <laughs> image of something right here uh, if you look really closely. Yeah. And then I'll right. insert like one of those like pop-up scares if anyone on the video looks close. Oh my uh, goodness. Next up, the almost highest point character on my team. Big beefy boy Batman Lord, here. We're going to take 20 minutes for us to read all these traits in these sets. Yeah. I'm just realizing this now. This guy <laughs> has got so Don't much. slow down. Here. Just keep reading. So five range, two lightning bolts, Batman ally team ability, of course. Uh, 139 points. All the keywords. Doesn't matter. It's not a theme team. Uh, charge with 12 attack. Exploit, 3 damage. 17 defense. Pretty solid stats all the way throughout his dial with decent powers all the way throughout his dial. Uh, it does have Indom, so that's cool. And then he's got a bunch of stuff that happens with the Flock of Bats characters that are also in this set. So, 
First, he's got improved movement, ignores elevated terrain, hindering terrain, and characters. That's fun. Uh, he's got allies in the darkness. He can begin the game with one of the flock of bat characters attached to him. If he has one on there, he can use super senses. Uh, while they're attached, I can give the flock of bats a move action to detach, and then they can do stuff on their own. Um, and then if he is KO'd, I can choose one of them that's attached to him to survive him being KO'd. He has another trait, I shall become a bat, which just sounds... I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> this one is actually really interesting. Uh, give him a free action and switch places with any friendly, unattached flock of bats on the map, even if the flock of bats didn't start the game attached to the Caped Crusader. So I can run a flock of bat all the way up somewhere and then free action swap places with it and that like puts me you know six squares up or something like that uh next up oh he also has sorry he also has a special attack power that i probably won't land on but even if i do i won't use it's uh give him a power action and then you can move up to three unattached flock of bats to uh you can give them move actions as free actions that turn which would be cool if I was playing a bunch of Flock of Bats, but I'm only playing the one that comes with him and then one extra one. Um, next up is Catwoman. She's got Leap Climb, Super Senses. She's got a special damage power that is Outwit. When uh, I can give her a free action and remove an action token from an adjacent opposing character, and then if I do, I can place an action token on another opposing character within six squares in line of fire. So I can on action one person to uh, double action someone else potentially or something like that. And then I can use stealth if I am adjacent to a friendly character with the Batman ally team ability, I can use plasticity and shape change, which will really help me top dial where and bottom dial, where I've got two rollouts if that's the case. And then my big bruiser of the day, oh, uh, let's, let's get a good look at Catwoman here. Wow. cool sculpt um my big bruiser is big barda she's got of course holding her uh cosmic control rod no i don't know what that is i have no idea what that is um it's not a boom tube i know that much but she has boom tube once per game give big barda a double power action to use phasing teleport as if she had a speed value of 12 after actions resolve, you may give Big Barda a close combat or ranged combat action as a free action. So that's like a good little catch him off guard kind of moment. Um, I will stand my ground as her other trait, modify her defense value plus one for each action token assigned to her. So if she's got two action tokens, she's at a 19 or an 18. The rest of her dials, I mean, you can see it. It's pretty standard stuff. Close attacker kind of thing. Mega Rod, that's what she's holding and Mother Box. Big Barter can use Penetrating Psychic Blast and Quake. And that's uh, for half of her dial, over half her dial, she can use those two powers. So that's pretty fun. Uh, she's also Flight, 4 Range, uh, and Indom. So plenty of Indom going around on my team. And then just a quick glance at the Flock of Bats. This is the one that I'm going to start attached to Batman. It has Poison, it has Flight, it's a standard sized character. Can't use the Carry ability, so that's sad. And then uh, if I give it a power action, of course, I'd have to give it a move action to move off and then a power action later. At the beginning of my next turn, before an opposing character adjacent to this flock of bats is given a power action, I roll a d6, and on a 1 through 3, I give them another action token before they can take that action. So if like that gives them a second action token, then they are just can't do that okay. second or the third action, I guess it would be. Right, yeah. And then my... One that I'm paying money to, paying points to play, is the black flock of bats, which is plasticity, and it makes hindering in squares adjacent to it. So, for line of fire purposes, not for movement. And that is everything on my team. It's That's everything? Cool. Are you sure? Yeah. Is that all? All right. I, I also have a lot to read, so let's go ahead and start off with 001 Fast Forces Oracle. Uh, she's pretty neat. Look at her dial. I'm going to read her special defense power, which is very similar to other powers we've seen. So give Oracle power action and choose another friendly character that shares a keyword with her and has no action tokens. That character is immediately given a move action as free with their speed value half. 
halved for this action. So, um, though she herself, never mind, I was going to say something. Uh, she can move Birds of Prey and Justice League uh, half their speed uh, by giving herself a power action, which is pretty solid. Next up, Fire. Ooh. Fire. Uh, so, very standard as well. Has a sharp, sharpshooter, which is pretty cool. Flight, six range, double bolt, energy explosion. With, you know... Less than stellar values for 75 points. But um, anyways, she has fast friends. When fire carries a character named Ice that has no action tokens, Ice may be given a non-free action this turn. So a little, little uh, full carry, do some stuff with old Ice here. And then her damage power on her first two clicks is fiery form. When fire takes damage from a close combat attack, the attacker is dealt one unavoidable damage. So she has some real, real cool defense mystics here she's not stuff. crazy range what's up like old school mystics kind of thing yeah old school mystics from close so she's like an 18 from range or 16 at close but uh, you got to deal with the unavoidable repercussions which is pretty neat all right so what can ice do for being able to be carried by fire and then you know do some cool stuff fire is just like a green blob by the way like yeah actually i have a lot of these figures and uh some of them i love just the international for but I yeah. didn't end up playing like KG Beast. I have like five of those because mm. every booster I opened had one. Just ice. I don't. I'm not in love with this version of Ice that doesn't have like the longer hair. This is very yeah, creepy like and hard to look Frost. at. Yeah, it looks so weird. Um, but like '90s Justice League International slash '90s Justice League Fire Ice and Guy, love them. Uh, so Ice just has one trait, which is unlikely couple. When a friendly character named Guy Gardner is adjacent to Ice, they both modify their attack values plus one, if not already modified by this effect, which is solid, and I love it. Uh, Ice also has Justice League team ability. He's got running shot, incapacitate, some barrier, some plasticity, and defend, which is uh, sure is cool. Next up, we got Huntress. This is so almost like a Justice League -like theme, too. Huntress got a little ab window going on. Looks great. Oh, yeah. Got to show off all the really like, neat that she's been doing. Can't, uh, can't wear pants, but she's got that like three inches of boot to <laughs> uh, like bikini bottom for whatever reason. So she has kneecapping isn't killing, which is super harsh. Um, most combat expert, the hunters hits and, and a target with a ranged attack hits a target with a ranged attack. Modify the target speed value negative two until the beginning of your next turn. So she can either. She, so she's shooting your knees, basically. She's got yeah. running shot, and she's going to shoot you, shoot your knees, which is neat. Them. Yeah, and like then she, she gets trades, some willpower. Yeah, she trades her ten attack for a nine with willpower, which isn't bad. Yeah, very, yeah, very interesting. I like the the flurry with some perplex later on. Of course, she has Batman allies. She has stealth. No way of moving out of it though. Next up, we got Calendar Man. This is uh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna read the parts that like pertain. It is the 19th of August as of recording this. It is a Thursday, uh, and it is summer. So he has Mastermind Soul Dial. We're recording. It is Wednesday. You're correct. We'll, well either way, it's Monday through Thursday. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're posting it on Thursday. It is a Wednesday. Excuse me. So it's yeah, an odd number no day. So day. excuse me. Yeah, yeah. The game begins on a day with an odd distance speed movement, by the way, halfway through. When the day begins with an odd numbered day of the month, give Calendar Man a power action. Up to three friendly characters adjacent to him can use phasing teleport until the beginning of your next turn. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Next up, Weekend Warriors. You use Energy Explosion. So the first one gives him stealth, period. Second one gives him Energy Explosion, period. When the game begins on a Monday through Thursday, Calendar Man can use Outwit. When he counters an ability, he counters that ability on all opposing characters, uh, which is cool, except uh, you can't counter abilities anymore, just powers without wit. So he has just outwit. So Weekend Warriors has given him energy explosion and outwit. Celebrating holidays with a bang, he has probability control, period, and a power action. Roll D6. When the battle begins during winter or spring, so it's not that one. Oh, let's see. When the battle begins on summer or fall, on a result of five through six, deal one penetrating damage to an opposing character within 10 squares and adjacent to or holding an object. So if they are holding an object, they get dealt one penetrating damage. So weird. A lot of things to keep in mind. This is all, this is Calendar Man. Yeah. It's just great. All right. Um, why? Why are you doing this? 
I know there's about a million things to read because everybody's hey, you get old Emperor Joker there, a watchman, who could that Mr. Be? Red King. Uh, no idea, no idea who an Emperor Joker could be. Okay, to be honest, it might not be him either. Like, that's true, it could be one other person faster there, there than him on the internet. One other Emperor Joker to lock fan. down that name. Yeah. All right, oh, so, wow, that is annoying. That Your screen said, keeps blinking. Yeah, uh, Guy Gardner. You said skip over the next oh, one. And Guy, go Gardner. Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner. Oh, Guy okay. Gardner. Guy Gardner. We got to do Guy. He got three votes. He got the most votes. There's a trait called I carry this team. When Guy Gardner is adjacent to a character with whom he shares a keyword, unless they have already been modified by this effect, basically just gives it a unique modifier. Modify Guy Gardner's damage value plus one and the adjacent character's defense value by plus one. So if anybody's got Justice League or Justice League International, there's no other Green Lantern. He's getting a plus one damage, and they will get a plus one defense, which is dope. You know how he could have really carried split. the team? He could have really carried the team if he had uh, the Green uh, Lantern team ability. Team ability. That allows and actually uh, to carry. <laughs> carry up to eight characters. Uh, it's a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah. Everything about this guy is kind of weird and wonky. So, so he's got a rocket launcher on his sculpt. But he's got Quake and Charge Flare. So, yeah, it's so it's so weird. It's a great sculpt. I love yeah, it, especially for a rare. Sculpt. Cool. But um, makes no sense. By the way, not starting with an 18 for 100, 142 points. Right in Dom, 8 range. Uh, his special speed power for his first four clicks is Charge Flurry. When he uses Flurry to attack the same character twice, damage dealt by the second attack is pu -pu 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 penetrating damage, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty dope. Me, if you ask me, I think it's awesome. All right. Uh, next up is his damage power he has on his last three clicks, which is Bustin' Heads. Guy Gardner keeps exploit weakness, possesses Battle Fury. He can't use Battle Fury. He possesses Battle Fury, Simeon. I love these, some old lingo here. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, the Batman in the deep, dark lair of the Batman. 90 points for kind of, to be honest with you, a whole lot of nothing. Little crouchy Batman going on here. I like mine better. So he has, he's probably better. Uh, Batman ally, all that stuff. He ignores in terrain elevated. Sorry. Nope. Just improved movement, just hindering characters, which is really cool. Yes. No one rides, but me, uh, when he becomes the pilot of V zero zero one bat cycle, the vehicle may be given a non free action this turn. So Batman's supposed to do his power action to get inside of it, but the vehicle can do something this turn, which is cool. Um, be given a non free actions turn. I said, was that not always the case? Actually, could you not? Yeah, because we can do I, that. It must have changed right away. Anyway, it, it's a separate it's weird. Yeah, wait. So. Now, like I read that, I'm like, yeah, it's a separate character. It can always do something well, weird. Cool All right, I thought that was how the rules work. That was a cool trait, but uh, <laughs> it's not how it works. All right, neat. Second trait. I shouldn't even have read that. I bring the darkness. Batman passes through a square containing an opposing character during a move action. After action is resolved, he may use smoke cloud as free action. Must place the first token in a square occupied by the opposing character. This is uh, kind of lame, to be honest with you. I don't know how useful it is. It gives them a minus Batman one has attack, goal. unless they can just move, like, charge yeah. or sidestep, then they just move yeah. out of it. But When I saw move through a character, I was getting, like, Human Torch Captain Marvel vibes, and that <laughs> was not the case. Nice ended up being... <laughs> Uh, rolling strike is his speed power for his first four clicks. Batman can use charge and running shot. When he uses charge, after actions resolve, he may be given a move action with his speed value halved as as a free action. So he has like super weird, worse hypersonic, better lightning speed, which is kind of yeah. cool. You know, so I dig that. And he's got some outwit. And that's Batman, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. That's Batman. I mean, Let's it'd be the same Batman. as hypersonic because you could charge four. Like, oh yeah, right. Four. Exactly basically hypersonic with his also, speed value uh, yeah ignores hint or ignores characters so he can he doesn't have to uh, auto break away break look away. at that that's solid right bat cycle no 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 it's a running shot oh. look at that look at how amazing and poor res that sculpt is that's great that's like was passenger one pilot ability familiar controls batman ally team ability or batman family keyword it can use stealth outwit uh Ooh. which is great because it doesn't have a team ability that gives it <laughs> stealth, which is so nice that it gives it stealth because it's great. Uh, other ones helped rebuild it. Alfred Pennyworth, Batgirl, Batman, Batwoman, Bruce Wayne, Robin, or Nightwing modifies attack and defense values plus one. So Batman is going to be in it. So it's going to have stealth and outwit, and it's going to have its attack and defense values by plus one. Just spoiler simple, alert. Yeah. 
Then its special attack with its running shot here is smoke cloud as a free action immediately after the resolution of an action in which it moved. The first Henry terrain mark, oh goodness gracious, must be placed in a square move through by bat cycle this turn. It's the same thing as Batman, except it's with any square it moved through and not just an opposing character. Um, uh, I guess, I guess we'll yeah. I'll get some markers ready then. Whatever. All right, radar. From how the, do our two teams equal? Oh, never mind. You have bats. All right. I was like, how do our two teams equal over twelve hundred yeah, points? But I didn't, uh, I didn't yeah, cost you bats. These I was, yeah. I was freaking out for a second. I was like, whoa. All right, the radar is a ten point thing. It gives you wild card, but uh, you can use opposing team abilities instead of friendly team abilities, and it's a five or six relic uh, pickup roll. So yeah. I'm sure I'll totally try to pick that up and not just on my team because i need objects and, and course, point fillers so it fills out 10 the, points the bat cave uh resource which wasn't in on the either bat. of our sets um or the bat how neat is resource. that yeah the bat belt all right yeah. bat signal give a character adjacent to this object a power action and choose another friendly character that is not within eight squares of this object Place the chosen character adjacent to this character and this object. So it kind of like summons Batman or whoever I want it to, I guess, really. This is so yank broken them. for two points. It is, is it not? Oh my gosh. For two points, not within insane. eight squares. You could literally yank someone across the map. Like, of course, yeah. like you have to yeah. uh, give a power action. So, like, it's not quite that easy. But, uh, yeah, being able to, like, place somebody like crazy far away or whatever because you could like leave this in your starting area with like just like a cheap pog or something and yank somebody back from like battle if you wanted to use it defensively instead of offensively but yeah it's pretty cool anyway that is the team i won map we are on the streets of gotham map here i'm going to uh get rid of this somebody has 20 of those bat signals on hc realms he says he played a 2,500-point Batman team that totaled up to 2,444. And he says you can You only have... ever play three at a time. No, no. If you're playing a 2,500-point Batman team, you're clearly just doing some homebrew oh. shenanigans, so it doesn't Oh, matter. yeah. Sure, that's true. So we're back on good old Roll20 since Tabletop Simulator yes. did not have... Uh, either, uh, didn't have Calder set. It did have my set. Yeah. So Left me out for whatever player. reason. They were like, yeah. yeah, we don't need Streets of Gotham. Lame. So yeah, we're back on Roll20, guys, which is obviously why we had all that spiel in HC Realms. Uh, I won, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. We're going to have Batman power action jump inside the Batmobile. And now the Batmobile can be given <laughs> a non-free action this turn. How great is that? Or the Bat Cycle. So it can move a whole nine squares. It has stealth, outwit, plus one, attack, and defense, just to keep in mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine. Whoa, I guess whoa. I could I could pilot the haunted tank with my flock of bats. Teleport the Batmobile, can you? I get I mean <laughs> it's a standard size Jeez. character. I don't know why not. Yikes, dude. Um I don't have Calendar Man but... move uh, however far he can move. I double check it here. I'm gonna move some tabs around to make it somewhat easier to switch between HC realms in this tournament. Calendar man, five squares, six squares. How dare I sell you short, Calendar man? One, two, three, four, five, six. Calendar man. Uh, it's one, two, three. Huntress move for probably eight squares. Yep. One, two, three. Huntress a token. And yeah, I'll say it's your go. All right. Now it's to decide uh, who I want in the haunted tank. Of course, putting Big Bard in the haunted tank will, of course, give me uh, the ability to use support, but only to target vehicle keyword characters. Um, so mm. that is a solid is, option. Uh, super solid. Also, just having. Uh, 14 clicks of life with Big Barda, who is an 11 for 4. Not terrible, but I do have to swap my range when I do that as well. Um, of course, like vehicle rules being if you swap attack 
and damage. It's also range. It's attack damage range. I believe. I don't know. <laughs> Should have looked that up. Uh, Catwoman's so attack. I gotta grab a two. vehicle card right now. All right, I'm gonna find one. Got my cards right here. Yeah. Keep going, there, Simeon. Keep uh, it going. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bad Samaritan in there. Because I can choose an attack or Bad Sam's activity. in the tank, baby. Bad Sam is in the tank. He's hopping in the tank. Locked and loaded. Tank has a passenger of three. So I can carry three whole people, a whole three squares. Yes, it is to. attack damage and range values with the printed values of its pilot. And then you have free, choose a standard attack or damage power the pilot can use. Uh, so yeah, can't use that one, but can't use its attack or damage power until your next turn. All right. Very nice. Yep. So I can I can carry three squares, and if I carried with running shot, it would, of course, go down to three, and then I could carry zero squares. So that would be a really cool running shot action where I can technically re I can, like, place everybody. Replace like everyone, yeah. But, yeah, that's not going to help me. So I can't do anything. We're going to, instead of that, we're going to move this flock of bats can move six. You don't want to do that? Well, uh, not yet. I'm going to do something okay. with them, but I'm not going to I'm not going to do that with them just yet. Uh, flock of bats can move six squares. I think I'm going to move flock of bats to here. And then I'm going to free action place Batman in that square and the bats will go in that square. Oh. Yeah. Pretty okay. solid. Uh, tank is six speed. It's so slow. It's just a lumbering tank. Uh, one, two, three, four. What was the special terrain on this map? Those are sewer grates. If you fall in them, you fall in the sewer and I'll have to pull up an entire other map for you uh, to not gonna do that. Well, the tank's it's, gonna, it's gonna potentially up. fall in the sewer. Then, um, oh, it's a free action. It's like a free or power action to jump into the sewer. We'll move there four squares, and we'll carry huh. Catwoman to here. Okay. And we'll drop Big Barda on this object. Mm. And let's see. Did I give this thing an action? I did. Oh, it's right there. The action's going to show up under Batman, so I'm just going to rotate the tank. How <laughs> interesting. How that interesting. does not does not at all change where the action token is, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it like I... that, and you'll have to huh. believe me. There is an action there. Um, it is so weird. I wonder if I can okay. do Nope, uh, those don't work either. Um, slight so now... fusion here. Batman. Batman. Could charge four squares, or he could just shoot five squares. Cape Crusader. Hmm. Hmm. They have no purpose. Hmm. Uh, we will copy the Bad Samaritan's outwit with the tank. Yeah. The tank, of course, having eight range. Ah, uh, this isn't worth a load of barnacles. We'll outwit the, uh... Ring shot, or what? Yeah, I don't know. Scumbag. <laughs> we'll outwit something yeah, on the bat yeah, cycle. I figured that's what the bat cycle has. Um, has running shot, ESD, and then it's trailing darkness power. Ah. Good, ah. good. Yes. That's all I'm going to do this turn. Okay. Okay. Well, 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 well. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we want to have happen. Um, yeah, I got to double check my team here. Make sure I look over some things. Power action, choose another funny character. There's a keyword with her. Has no action tokens. That character immediately given a move action as a free action with your speed value have for this action. Okay. 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 So we're going to have fire 
go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna go there. We're gonna carry ice and we're gonna put her there. It's a good song. I think it's by Rihanna about a girl that's on fire. I'm so dumb. I I should have put the bat signal out a few more squares. What a what an utter fool I am. And I didn't realize I actually didn't want it to be within eight squares of Guy Gardner. Shoot. Are you just are you just ignoring my beautiful joke that I made? Yes, I am. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. I to double check that before I started the game. Why would I do the bat signal like that? The whole purpose was for this to happen, and here we are. Um. Well, this is trash. One, two. Why? Why would I do that? I'm so dumb. <laughs> You're not outside of the eight scores, yeah. Oh my gosh! Why would I do that? Ah. One, two, three, four, five. I literally can't get outside of the eight squares, even with the free move. What? Ugh. Ah. Whole the whole point, the entire point of this team. <laughs> I'm so mad that I screwed that up, like so awfully. I'm I'm a little livid right now. Um. Wow. She was supposed to carry up. She could do something as free. She can power action. Bring guy here. Right? Plus one stat. And then or Oracle plus one. Well, he's got plus one damage and attack value because he's just somebody he shares keyword with. And Oracle was gonna free move guy one, two, three, four, because it's move action to here, right? And he can carry her with the move action. Then he would charge flurry to like here. And I completely screwed up my placement. Oh my gosh. Ah! Ah, I'm sorry. I robbed you guys of like a really sick. Ah, all right, fine. Let's continue <laughs> with the turn or whatever. Let's place her there instead. I guess ice can do something. What can she do? Running shot for like whatever ice four and then six. One, two, three, four. Batman's installed tank is probably a standard size character, right? Yeah. Okay. Tank is let's a, let's a tank carry to here, I guess. One, two, three, four. Here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's carry to here. Let's go one, two, three, four, and she'll running shot, double target, incapacitate the tank, and uh, uh, the biggest of Bardas. Arda, yeah, I guess. All right, she's an eighteen because of hindering. Unless you ignore that, I don't think she does. Nice. No. Ah, jeez, I forgot I had that set. Huh? <laughs> Did that scare you? That scared me. <laughs> that freaked me out a little bit. All Dice right. On my screen. Oh no. Misses. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. All right. Were you carrying fire with you? Uh, fire carried ice, and then ice did something. Ice can't carry. Oh, fire. Fire. flight. And then ice oh, can. okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I'll have Oracle power action to move Guy Gardner five squares. One, two, three, four, five, and he'll be on top of the radar. And I guess he'll pick it up, or he'll roll to pick it up. Ah, jeez. Okay, well, we got the radar, though. That's neat. Um, now I have wild card to copy an opposing team ability. It's one, two, three, four actions. Here, let me show you this sick strat that I've been learning from these competitive players. You Sideline, Guy Gardner. Calculate radar. Justice League of America or Batman Ally. Wow. Wow. I will copy Batman Ally. No, I have it on my team. This still gives me wild card in the first place, so I guess I will take Batman Ally. Eight. Oh. One, two, three, four actions we've done so far. Two, three, four, five, six. She could potentially running shot and shoot some people in the knees. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'd have to move up pretty far if we want to shoot anybody in the knees and not be stealthed. So we'll clear Huntress. The bat cycle. 
Queer the Batman. And the Calendar Man. <laughs> almost forgot about the Calendar Man. All right, so here we go. Okay. Uh, ah, trash. I'm so mad I turn. screwed all that up. Yeah, I'm so I'm sorry like that you did. Eight 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 eight. Yeah, yeah, shut up. So <laughs> sad. <laughs> it's going to probably uh, make this see. game a lot more interesting, but I'm livid that I screwed up my <laughs> entire strategy. As soon as I saw that I could do it, all right, whatever. Sorry, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm not, but take your turn. Hmm. This is interesting. Uh, we've got a couple things going on here. Huh? I think Catwoman has no improved movement, but she does have a leap climb. I really want to keep her with her uh, uh, shape change plasticity that she gets for being next to Batman. I really like that. Uh, she can use Outwit as free action. I can remove the action token, that whole thing. So that'd be kind of fun to do. Let's see if I can do that. Free action, remove an action token from an adjacent opposing character. And if I do, place the action token on any other opposing character within six squares and light a fire. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move her nine squares. I'm going to go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. See if this works for me. Um, nope, I don't like that. Hang on. Mm. 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 If only she had, like, sidestep. Do not, do not care for what she's bringing to the table right now. Yeah, we'll hold off on that, because I've got other plans for ice okay. up there. Um, other plans. So we'll just move Leave on to, ice uh, alone. Haunted Tank has this is the 11 for 3 with ranged combat expert and an 8 range. So I think... The bat cycle is not in stealth right now. No, it's just sitting there. It, it is not, unless of course you somehow uh, draw a line of fire through through. Jeez, I can't even do that as a joke. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there, I guess there is a heavy. You see, there. you're clearly you're clearly drawing. Oh yes, correct. So I'd have to draw it through Barda. Yeah, but, but uh, so I'll, way, I'll yeah. have to do something with her. She can do a double power action and then take a close or ranged action. Girl. Uh, she also okay. starts with just a uh, charge of five, so I could potentially mm. get somewhere. But I really like that double power action, so I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to do the old double power action with Barda. Okay. And we'll go... She can move 12 squares with phasing... Let's just attempt to annihilate Guy Gardner. <laughs> ah! Just to really... Livid. Livid. If this... Ah! You better not. I don't ah. have any perplex. I've got a lot of outwit and stuff. Uh, I can use yeah, yeah, Psychic Blast yeah, and Quake. Yeah. So I can technically use Quake with this. I can technically use like Knockback or pick up a Heavy with this, I think. Oh, and she was standing on a Heavy, too. Oh no! Uh, so even if I move her, can I? F I can phase and pick up a heavy. I'm doing that. Yeah, she's carrying that heavy with her. Move her. Scumbag. Yeah. You scumbag. Double power action. Excuse me. It's a double power uh, action for this, and it's once per game. Uh, close or ranged combat action as a free action. So yeah, I'm gonna hit you with that heavy object, Mr. Guy Gardner. Right. Of a gun. Uh, I've got an 11 for 6 with my heavy. Okay. <laughs> Gotta find a, a real roll here. Yes! Eh. <sighs> Alright. Ah. Heavy is gone. Alright. Oh, darn right, the heavy's gone. You complete and utter fool. You insolent, you insufferable scumbag. Get rid of your dice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now I'm going to outwit. You have to use 
Seaman's Bob. What's that? Love it. Uh, yeah. I can. Sorry, I, I just called Calendar Man Seaman, and I'm not going to do that ever again. Uh, Calendar Man did not have to use his Um <laughs> Just so let's, get, let's get over it. Let's get past it. The haunted Tank is going to outwit the uh, Bat Cycles defense, whatever that may be. And then oh, it's copying Bat Samaritan's uh, damage power to get outwit. And then okay, yeah. yeah. Oh wait, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to copy the outwit. What do you have on the Bat Cycle toughness? Yes. Okay. Uh, EST. EST with what? What's the? Seventeen. We also have a plus one static defense because of. Piloted by oh, the Batman. Yeah. So it's a it's a twenty right now. Twenty from range, eighteen uh, from close. Uh, yeah, that's right. This turn isn't turning out how I wanted it to. All right, we will ca mm -hmm. copy Bad Samaritan's outwit, and we'll outwit the ESD. I don't get range combat expert. Correct. So I'll just shoot you. Sure, the same thing would have happened uh, if you did range combat. Attack or chose out with yeah, didn't really. It's yeah, better. it ends up unless you want a running shot or something. Um, yes. Well, yeah, I get, I'm gonna run end up running shot. Oh, you, I guess you lose your speed power too. Actually, sorry. Isn't it just damage? If I pick one, yeah, it is attack and damage. No, you're right. It's attack and damage. You're attack correct. Damage. You okay. get your speed attack. You just get attacked. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Forget what I said. Anything. But to make sure you don't like. Swing your chases chassis. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to just stop? leave it where it is. No. I don't need to. So I'm just going to shoot 11 into the... It said it's a 17 plus 1, so 18. 18. All right. I need a, a big old 7. You got it. That'll do three. 3 damage. I don't have willpower on this tank. It's a ghost tank, so it's going to take a damage. Oh. That's the vehicle symbol, so doesn't that? Yeah, and, and no then... trade power. Or ooh, click four is uh, it's certainly a click. Do anything for me, so I don't know why I'm gonna do it, but let's see, one, two, three, four. I have to go mm. there. Don't much care for this whole thing that's going on, but I can't go anywhere else. So Batman's gonna charge to here. Picking okay. up that light that's sitting there. Mm. He's got a, uh, I think it's a, uh, oh, I don't know. Is it a, oh, it's a 12 for, for four with that light object. Mm. Okay. He is the caped crusader, not the Batman. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, does mm. a, a 21 hit for four damage. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna hit her for damage. That sucks. Goes to click five, which may or may not. No, she's alive. Wow. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. Uh, we're gonna. I don't think she does anything on click five, so I'm not super worried about Just that. Plasticity and defend. We're gonna go leap climbing with this lady somewhere. I don't know where. Let's go. Even though it'll put her away from Batman, we're going to place her here. And then we're going to attempt to do her super cool misdirection. Uh, give her a free action, remove an action token from ice. And then... Uh, if I do, I can place it on an other opposing character within six squares in line of fire. So we're going to take Ice's action token and put it on fire over here. Ah, uh, and I don't think fire has willpower, so fire will take damage. All right. And then Catwoman's going to outwit, I don't know, plasticity on ice. Mm. And... Uh, I think I'm just gonna clear the flock of bats that's in the the background there. I was thinking, mm. so like pro strat, uh, Batman can or not Batman, but the flock of bats that Batman's carrying can be given a 
move action and pop off, but then they would have moved, and so they can't poison, I don't think. Even though they're placed from outside the game, technically. I don't know how that works, because they worded things weird back then. So that's my turn. Okay. Neat. How neat is that? That is pretty neat. I didn't like your turn. Safe to say I somewhat hated your turn, Simeon. Um, thank you for taking it. <laughs> we are going to have... Uh, do you have plasticity on Catwoman or yeah, Batman? Uh, no. Ah, she does have ah. it if she's adjacent to Batman, but she's... Ah, okay. So she doesn't have it right now. I'm going to ice. Uh, Just going to... Crusader has... Yeah, he's got charge. I'm just going to have Ice just try to uh, move Breakaway. Ah. Two. Okay. I got to double check things here. Uh-huh. Alright. Uh, so first of all, that was not her move. We're going to make that Oracle's move to try to have her freak. She has to have no action tokens to do it. So that was her first one. Uh, I forgot the order of operations you did. And so give Oracle power action. She's another friendly character that shares a keyword with her. Uh, they both have Justice League. No action tokens. That character is immediately given a move action as a free action with their speed value half. So that was her move. Failed breakaway. Now a costed ice breakaway. Sound good? Yeah. Aha! And that one works. Mm. One, two, three, five, six. She can move her full because that was not part of Oracles. First one was Oracles. Okay. And now, I believe he is very far away from the bat signal. We're going to have the bat cycle. Uh, really quick, bat cycle is going to perplex up Guy Gardner's uh, damage value. That cycle is going to power action, bring her. Crap. It has to be next to it and whatever. Ah! Ah! Come on! Okay. Well, she has to be next to that cycle and the. And the ah! Bat. I really. <laughs> ah! It's bat really cycle, not obvious. Uh, let me double check here, actually. That's a good question. No, it has 15 defense with toughness and perplex. Fair that is what the bat cycle has. Awesome. Wow. Um, crap. Well, poop. Um, Dang it! All right. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Moving on. I can't. I can't get anything right on this team. I really can't. I'm trying, guys. Someone's banging their head against something. Uh, we're going to outwit Impervious on Big Barda with, unless she has stealth somehow. Uh, outwit it with the uh, Calendar Man, Calendar Big Boy. Barda has defense values plus one for each action token. And that's it. So yeah, she's a 19, uh, 20 if you're shooting into hindering, but she okay. doesn't have protected outwit. That is inconvenient that she has that action token thing. Don't love that. All right, outwitting her defense. Guy Gardner is going to flurry. He is a uh, 10 for four. I wanted him to be more, obviously, but Ice was not team playing. Uh, 10 for 4, 19. Rolling high. Yes, actually, we are rolling high. So that'll be 4 straight through. 4 damage will take me to click 5. No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I am now an 18 with toughness. Okay. And second attack. Only take 3. That will miss. We'll prob it with Calendar Man. That will also miss. Okay. Toughness. As a calendar man, probably can't damage you, can he? Now he's got one. She's no longer holding an object, so we can't do that thing. The whole the only time we could have done it was when everybody was like here. Um I think that was within ten. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. All right. Let's see now. That was one, two, three, four actions. That calendar with um, it's not be fun with the uh, Tinker. 
because he can like power action make an yeah. object. You can drop one and then just yeah. one penetrate him. Cool. Okay. Well, we did all of that. Now I guess it's just Huntress needs to kneecap someone. Shooting a one, two, three, four. Uh, running shot to there. Going to shoot the tank. All right. All right. Is that what we want to do? I have invulnerability. Yeah. You? Yeah. Goodness gracious. I have. Two damage. Two damage. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's uh, rewind time really quickly. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's running shot to here. And uh, it's a 10 on 19 against uh, Big Barda trying to need Big Barda. Up three. Yes, a 19. Oh. Wow. Missed I don't by like how that one. die went from a, a six to an eight. <laughs> Was uh, it was a little, uh, a little spooky, so but it's computer really, dice, really so slow don't, uh, like the roll over there. Yeah. You have to clear fire, and let me check what Oracle has on her second click. It is perplex. She will perplex up Huntress's a defense, and it is your go. Ugh, that was such a turn. I, every time I make a plan, it goes wrong, and I'm just so mad. And it's all about the bat signal, and I can't place the bat signal right ever. Me. <laughs> See, not I, not loving Catwoman on click two, but I'm not hating it. Uh, she doesn't have stealth. Uh, let's see. So I kind of like her swapping action tokens around just a little bit. Um, Let's see. Batman does have Indom, and he can go four. So I think my solid play here would be to charge the bat cycle, get my flock of bats up somewhere, can move six. That's not going to help me too much. Actually, it will. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is charge Batman. Uh, we'll go here with exploit weakness and a 12 attack onto the 15 of the bat cycle. It is an 18 because ice has defend and it's actually a 19 because it has a plus one. Hey, well, I hit a 19. 19. <laughs> Goodness gracious. For... Golly gosh. All right. Um, let me double check here. Yes. That murders the bat signal. Uh, following vehicle rules, we're just going to take that away. Um, we're just going to quick copy, paste that there. And we're going to do a real quick... Uh, two unavoidable damage to Batman. All right. Cool. That D6 was for Batman to take two unavoidable damage, putting him on quick three, because his bat cycle blew up from under him and hurt him a little bit. Very nice. Neat. Does, is, that is what has happened now. Does Batman have a defense power? Yes. You better believe that he does, and you better believe it's the best one ever, a.k.a. ESD. Uh, awesome. Uh, awesome. Well, I can't do a whole lot. Tank's out hmm. of range. Of right, you can't do a whole lot. Uh, so I can't, I can't use my outwit... I could yank Batman back to this starting area over here. Uh, so that's a possibility, but I think I'm just going to tie some stuff up with Catwoman instead. So she'll go here. And does Batman have a moving attack? Oh, yeah, he has his whole running shot and then his ghetto hypersonic charge. Okay, we'll outwit that with Catwoman. Scumbag, you scumbag. She'll go to click two, and mm. I guess we're just going to clear Big Barda and the tank. I really hate scumbag. to do it, but yeah, that's all I can really do. You gave her a double power action last turn. What What else is there <laughs> you to do? 
I, don't I hate know. to do it, but she's <laughs> all right. Okay, Simeon. All righty then. Uh, I am actually very happy you have cleared her though. It makes my life somewhat easier. Um, I want to delete Big Barda from existence. That is my number one priority right now. So yeah, one, two, uh, well. All right, let's go ahead. I think fire, it's her time to shine. She's got that sick 10 attack, three damage, which is really, really nice. Oh yeah. Uh, even off reactions turn. Well, I'm not going to carry ice, so I don't need to worry about any of that. So let's just go ahead and have Oracle perplex down Big Barda's defense. Okay. And Let's, let's have fire. Uh, and we'll also outwit her defense with calendar ma 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 ma, -ma man. Okay. Let's have fire double target uh, shooting Barda and uh, woman there. Catwoman or does she have stall? Uh, she. No, she's got plasticity and shape change right now. Okay. So, yeah, shape change on Catwoman. Shape change on the Catwoman. That's a okay. go ahead and go on that. And big see if we can roll. 15. Nice. Right, that'll, so we will hit them both. both. Yeah. I think we're just going to do all three to Big Barda. Sure. Okay. That will take her to click eight. Oh, inconvenient for me that she did not just die. Uh, still perplexed down, though. Let's have Calendar Man. Oh, sorry, we got to give her a token. Have Calendar Man just punch her. Okay. Is he, little Calendar Man here, has himself a nine attack, one damage. But before we do that, we're going to have Guy Gardner copy the Batman enemy team ability. Uh -oh. And uh, we're going to go ahead and replace its attack value with print attack value of adjacent character that can also use team ability, which is a 10 on Gardner. <laughs> so it is a 10. So you're 15. Yeah. yeah. We're doing that. Get that, baby. Nine right. hits. That will take her out. All right. Finally. Finally. Uh, cool. So we have her out. You're going to clear bats. Um, I can choose if I want to clear the Huntress. Hunt, blah, 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 blah. Huntress. Hunt, Huntress or not. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, we can still have her kneecap. We could also just have her like move up. Nah, it's lame. I think we're going to clear you and you for sure. So we got this Batman here on click three that can't do his cool everything. So now we have to decide what we want to do. We can just move through and give everybody like a bunch of negative ones. But I think he is just going to try to punch Catwoman. All right. She does have yeah. combat reflexes, so. Oh, well. Thank you, Simeon. Another another roll of a one on shape change. Oh, hey, uh, something good. Huh. That is not. That is not what you needed. Let me prob it or no? Yeah, I think you can see his top, the top yeah. of his yeah. corner. I can see the top bit of his corner there. I don't know if you okay. have to see to the center, but I never play it like that when it's. I've never played thing. this to the center before. Does he have right. a 10 attack? It's a 10 attack. Okay, that's going to hit for how much? A 2 damage, baby. Okay, so 2 whole damage. Click 4, unlocking my blades ability. Ooh. And I've lost the ability to right. swap tokens on people. And then we shall clear all red tokened people. It is your go. All right, it's time to tank you for playing. Oh, I hate that so much. I hate everything about what you just said. Good Lord. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with the best shot there, Simeon. You can, you can move three squares and shoot eight. So uh, yeah, what's happening, bro? I could just like, take Obviously. out fire, probably. Ouch. Um, three... And eight. I mean, 11 square reach. I'm not huh. super worried about ice. I don't think I can Rude. get a line on Batman at all. Batman! That's pretty close, but I don't think so. Whoa! Look at that. 
I'm being trying to trick shot right now. Yeah, it's what you do with tanks. Uh, it's called the rolling thunder attack. Uh, let's move my flock of bats up six squares. Okay. I probably should have done that last turn. Free action being your turn to do it? No, it's just a move action. Okay. Be cool Clear your bats, Mario, anyway, just because uh, he doesn't have a, a token anymore on the side. Oh, yeah. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. So we'll move my flock of bats to there. That'll be my first action. Uh, second action, let's move my tank running shot to here. I think I've just got an 11 now. I lost my psychic blast. So I'm an 11 for two. A solid two damage. Okay. Uh, and Did I you get a uh, missed fire? Or... Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a direct line somewhere. Uh, I said this square. fire. Yeah, it's like, all right, I that's good. Know. It's close. It's close. No, it's yeah, it's a direct line. No, no, yeah, you got all it. Right. You got it. Trick tank shot Eight. shooting. Uh, I'm an eleven for two. We'll see how that goes. I'm loving your rolls, by the way. A seventeen. It's ones on shape change that will miss. Uh, is it ESD? Not uh, rolled above a seven. Oh yeah, okay. You've rolled eights and nines. Okay, never mind. Now I'll out with the defend on ice. I don't know. Why? Why do you? What does her alone. fire have for attack? She have any uh, energy explosion? explosion. Okay. I'll energy out explosion. With that. Yeah. Okay. I'll out with the energy fine. explosion. I'm gonna clear fine, fine. these two. Uh, uh. I'm not in love with that. Not in love with the fact they're cleared up. Okay. Well, we got to make some good moves here this round, fellas. Let's see, Oracle's got that sick free move thing. And uh, we have all sorts of stuff we can do. Um, you still have shape change and stuff because you're next to, uh, next to Batman. Rough. Being useless is entirely... Well, I, I guess I did use it once. Never mind. Okay. I'm just mad. I'm so mad that it could have been more useful than it was. All right. C. Um, they both have shape change, right? Until one of them dies. No. Uh, Catwoman gets it. Uh, Caped Crusade oh, doesn't okay. have anything like that. He's just got stealth. Stealth she and has... was it toughness? Yeah, stealth toughness. She has uh, combat reflexes. Or no. Right now, she has... Yeah, combat Wasn't reflexes, there something about shape change. Do you have super senses too on Batman? No, he doesn't have that. Uh, that was doesn't... all Catwoman. I don't know, Batman, because the flock of bats, he has super senses, right? Oh, yeah. I forgot, yeah. there's still... I still have the gray bats on him. Yeah, gray bats. Yeah. Okay. And there's like a lot going on here. Let's go ahead. We do that. One, two, three... Or go there. And then... Yeah. Do a move action. Just a move action with her. It's so lame. Okay. Let's have uh, Oracle here. Power action. Yeah. Well, power action to move Guy Gardner. One, two, three, four, five. Here. Then we'll outwit Batman's super senses with Gardner. Oh. And then we're going to put Ice there with Ice's normal move action. And then let's just charge Flurry. One, two, three. Here with Gardner. And that makes Guy... And 11 for 4, because he's next to Ice. So Ice gives him, they both modify their attack by use plus 1. And Guy Gardner has the whole, he's next to someone who he shares a keyword with, which is Justice League International slash Justice League. A modified Gardner's damage by like plus 1, and then the adjacent character's defense value plus 1. So that makes Guy Gardner an 11 for 4 on Batman. Okay. Not a big fan of that. Okay. No. That will hit an 18. All right, 
so he's going to take, uh, let's see. So I still have my toughness. I'm going to take three. I'll end up on click four. Okay, what you're rocking on click four? Uh, 17, same, same exact defense, 17 toughness. Okay. And Ooh, big old ten. That'll just kill the Batman. I like it. I like that. Power couple, baby. Power couple. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and perplex up Huntress's attack value, and she is going to running shot and kneecap. You know, Catwoman. All right. Uh, One, two, she lost three, her plasticity. Four. Does she ignore characters? Oh, she's. Not adjacent. Okay. It's Huntress. Huntress yeah. over here. I was looking at yeah. Uh, Batman. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> Kneecap you. Oh, yeah, baby. Kneecap right. you for two damage. Two, two damage. damage. That'll put me on click six. And still alive. Inconvenient for me. Oops. All right. That's one, two, three, four actions. Uh, Batman have Indomitable. Let's see. Oh, he does not. Um, so I guess we're just going to clear everybody else. Yeah. Okay. I'm on the Batman. The Batman. All right, here we go. Oh, when Batman died, he drops this uh, flock of bats. Ah. Uh, because reasons. Um, what's Guy Gardner got for defense? Old 17 tough, baby. All right. Catwoman's gonna defend though because of ice. Catwoman's just so you know. gonna try and blades you. Oh, okay. That okay. Uh -huh. on, my, on my screen, that's a cocked uh -huh. die. That's definitely that is an a cocked 11. die. It is literally a cocked Y. Why would uh, they have? <laughs> why would they have, have a roll like that? Uh, yeah. That'll definitely miss. Uh, she is a eight. I mean, obviously, like in the text chat, it's like whatever, and that's predetermined. Right. Like it's gonna be whatever the text chat is. But like, why would they? What is stopping it? The top of your browser is that yeah, like it got it got hooked up on the why? Why? why... <laughs> so dumb. Got stuck uh, on uh, the address it's... bar. It was like, uh, the address is too long. I can't roll over. So um, weird. Let's do that. Let's see what this flock of bats does. I'm pretty sure it's only one damage, so that's not super helpful. Uh, opposing character adjacent to it. Oh, okay. So I can give it a power action, and then if you try and take a power action, it's a double power action. So I'm going to do that just because I can. Uh, the tank still has ranged combat expert. Let's see here. What's Calendar Man got for defense? Oh, he's got that uh, that 16 Mastermind. Let's go ahead and range combat expert all into damage and take a shot it's at him. Man. Calendar Man. Okay. 11 Christmas. for 4. Uh, yeah, 17. We will rob that with Calendar Man. Ah, uh, We will die with Calendar Man. And now that he is dead, you aren't allowed to use a calendar for the rest of the year, Simeon. That uh, is uh, no. a trait. Yeah. Uh, counts on the phone, too. So just <laughs> good at counting. You can track on your dates. <laughs> yeah. We'll never record on time ever again. Uh, that'll push uh, the tank to click three. <laughs> right. Tank just does not care in the world about his not, damage. Not tape. at all. Uh, it's the only thing I've got that's doing something. Um yeah, that's all I can do. I'm going to clear this other flock of bats. Yeah. Because they don't have Indomitable, surprisingly, for less than 20-point figures. They're not, not a ton. What in the world? They don't have Indomitable? What? Act for real. What Act for real. Let's go ahead. And, uh... Yeah, man, I don't even know. Uh, Guy Gardner is going to flurry murder a Selena Kyle. Uh-oh. At least okay, attempt she... to. We have no outwit on the team, so... she's Yeah, she's got, got a 15 super senses now. We need to roll a four. Okay. Almost a crit hit. Okay. And that'll four the super sense. Because here's the super sense roll. Which was a six until it rolled over to a three. I like okay. how it bounced all the way across. Yeah. 
That one, it was like a very will, forceful roll. Like we'll I finish it our really quick or flurry. <laughs> finish our flurry on the flock of bats here. All uh, right. The gray flock uh, has 16, 17. 18. All right, sweet. So that'll hit. Oh, wait. Before you're even able to do that, I'm supposed to roll a d6. Oh, sorry. And on a 1 through 3, you take an action before you can do that. Uh, place an action token on that character. If that character may still be given a non-free action, it must continue to be given to well, it. Well, it was second attack of flurry, right? So. Well, it would have been before your flurry. Oh, really? Yeah, it oh. would have been when you're before you're given the action token. Oh, not targeting you, just like yeah. anyone. Dang! It's... All right, so Gaiana just has an action token. Wow, yeah, it's, is it's that within a whole... speech? That was the whole bats... reason I uh, I gave World. it a power action. Uh, yeah, it's. That's... Before any opposing character adjacent to it may be given a power action, I do that. Ah. Well. Ah. I should have killed the bat. Look at this. Tricky. But Simeon's random stuff works for him? All right. Whatever. Um, all right. Cool. Let's, uh... I hate that. I gotta say. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and have fire running shots here. Shooting the bats... Hmm. Um, can't can we see both bats actually? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That doesn't hit shoot that. both so, bats. All right, I think it's a sixteen and seventeen, or just two seventeens. So it does not matter. Ooh. Deal them each one, right? Is that all we have to do, or do they have toughness? Oh, uh, they've got they've got something called her. How do you want to deal the damage, and then I'll tell you what they have. Uh, what? Click his ice or fire on two. Uh, I'll do them each. I'll deal two and gray one. Oh, uh, how did you with know? Three damage. How did I know? Because I just looked at gray and saw that he had no defense. <laughs> yeah, neither of them do. Oh, neither <laughs> of them. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's real sad. Uh, it's one haunted two action sad right now. Good. Uh, Batman is going to try to punch love of his life. Selena, Selena Kyle here. Uh, he is just like a 10 for 2 still, Batman. Ma -na -na -na, Batman. Jeez, where is Batman on my stupid thing? Yeah, he's still a 10 for 2. Okay, just had to double check. Wow, look at that wacky roll all along the screen. All this right. is another 3. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh. If I could turn back time. If I could yes. find a way. Uh, clearing uh, Oracle and Huntress. And ice, actually. It is your go. My turn. I'm going to pick Outwit with the tank. And I'm going to mm. Outwit... Uh, let's see. Huntress has running shot with two damage. Not worried about that. Okay. Whereas Fire's okay. got three damage. Uh, she has running shot with three damage. Yeah, energy explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Is there is there any support powers on your team? Not really. Um, uh, only uh, Oracle has support powers. She is perplex. Oh, I can see. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally uh, outwit Oracle's perplex. I'll outwit fires running shot and uh, just clear the tank because yeah, there's nothing else I can really do that matters. Okay. All right. We got our little free half moves. We got our punches we can do. We have no outwit, though, and you having invulnerability really kind of messes with us because we don't actually have much that can get around that, which kind of sucks. So, um, I think Oracle, what do you have for move? Oh, you have phasing now? Why do you have phasing? That's dope. Uh, so, wow, that's awesome. She can easily move out then. One, two, three. Calendar five, man also could have given phasing to your whole team. Yeah, I just that never. Who cares? It didn't matter. Yeah, I'd really There's like to calendar. move up into the battle without doing anything. Said every phasing that they put on high costed characters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like Galactus. It's the worst. Seven hundred fifty points. The worst. I can move anywhere on the map, and then we'll do there. nothing, sure. and just get attacked Jeez. a lot because I moved. Yeah. Uh, he's bad. Gotta, do we have to talk about Galactus right now? We gotta, no. are we, we're going to bring the Galactus discussion to Thursday anyone, throwdown. Anyone, though. <laughs> I'm just going to put Simeon. this out there. 
Anyone that finished... wants to claim that 750 point Galactus is good, yes. I will build a a 400 point team that can take him down, and we will play. If you want to defend it, and if you win, I will take back every bad thing I've said about him. But you will not because he is bad. Done. Yeah. It's nothing to do with the game we're filming. You have no idea. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> We'll move up. We'll perplex up the Huntress's defense. Let's. Um... I've got to find a way to cosplay a tank. Do you know how hard that's going to be? <laughs> uh, I just have to hit you. Cool. Huntress will running shot to here and uh, shoot the tank. Good hit for damage. Uh, no, but a 20 should hit the tank, and I'll modify your speed value by negative two. Oh no. How fast can I move now? The the tank's kneecaps, which I guess is its uh my treads. treads. Uh so on click three I can now move four squares or Clear everyone. shot one square. That's pretty Good cool. Job. I'm gonna yes. say that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, man, it's 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 your go. All right. Um Don't really have to do that though. What is uh actually? Yeah, Batman has mm. energy shield. Is that correct? Does yeah. You think I can see him from this square? I can definitely see him from this square. Oh yeah, kind of. I don't know. The direct diagonal's right there. Wait, no. Direct diagonal. It's right there. Um, I can see Guy Gardner for sure. You should be Batman if you want to. I don't care. Let's let's uh, outwit Guy Gardner's toughness <sighs> or whatever his defense don't do is. Yeah, it's toughness. And uh, the tank is going to load a shell in the chamber. It's going to cock it back and energy explode you. Uh, oh, I don't like that. I hate that very much. I also, dislike that a lot. I just remembered I don't need to... Uh... Oh, wait. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't need to outwit energy shield. or I don't I need to outwit toughness, so I'll outwit running shot on this lady again. Uh, Alright, fine. Because my do energy way. explosion's already uh, penetrating. So, what do you mean? How is it penetrating? That's my trait. Nice shot, Gus. Direct hit. When Haunted Tank uses energy explosion, damage dealt to the target of the attack is penetrating damage. That is inconvenient. All right, fine. So I have a big old whopping 10 attack. And yeah, whatever yeah. your defense it's is around, 18. that guy is. Because uh, I've perplexed up Huntresses, and the other chick has defend. Crit hit. He says. Eh, it's an 18, though. Actually, we'll miss Ice and Batman, because he has ESD. And Ice has plus one defense, because she's next to Guy. Mm. Uh, everybody else will take two. Uh, so we'll go to click three with Huntress, and go to click three with Mr. Gardner. That's all I got. I'm going to have to get one of these haunted tanks. It's a pretty decent 136 points. Four. Just kidding. I hardly ever get to use vehicles anyhow, so I don't need any more. Huh. Thank you for that, Simeon. Just a side tangent. I do want, like, one shelf that... Jeez. Like, two shelves. One that's, like, all the really big colossals. One that's all the 2 by 2 colossals. And then one that's all the vehicles. And then, uh... I just, like, intersperse between those shelves, like, the random single base figures that I like. That's actually not a bad idea, like for a little setup, I guess. Oh, perplex and flurry. We lost our uh, our running shot. Okay. All right. So we're going to perplex up Guy Gardner's speed value with Miss Huntress here. Oh. Uh, Oracle can only perplex up Batman or Ice. 
because Oracle only has no range, so we're kind of useless for Plex here. Uh, or we could move her one, two, three, four, five, phasing, and then she'll push to out with. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to move her to here. Her. Click three. She will outwit the tank's invulnerability. Then we're going to have Guy charge Flurry carrying Love of His Life Ice. One, two, three, four. So there, because we plucked up his speed. So negative one plus one. Hmm. And uh, oh, yeah, baby. Charging the Flurry in. We don't really need. We're going to place him like this, I guess. All right, cool. Attack. Maybe a 10 attack uh, for. How about his guys? Is that Ooh, two just... whole damage? We'll hit a 17. Because yeah, so... uh, actually, it's going to be three damage because of the plus one. Okay. This gives loaded. him plus one attack. His trait gives him plus one damage. Click six then. With the right. Damage. Second attack. I now have toughness. So. Do you have invulnerability still or nah? No. On click six, I have toughness. Right. Well. We'll miss. That'll hit a 15, right? You gotta have not a yeah, 15. Not a 17. 15, okay, yeah. All right, guy yeah, needs token. Let's have outwitted. Oh, she can still see the tank, so she's just gonna shoot the tank. Fire. Okay. Ooh, that'll hit. It's 10 for three. So I'll take two, go to click eight. Oh, boy. Eight. Uh, Batman is on click three. He has his cool charge. Oh, we're just gonna running shot. One, two, three. Four. Oh no, wait. Uh, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four to there with Batman. He'll pick up the light object. Goes, and we'll go ahead and shoot you. Ten on stuff. 16 that'll is i'm a seven uh, yes that's what i meant it misses okay uh red 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 there you go that's it it's literally everybody i guess actually no she didn't i just didn't do anything this turn i should have given everybody blues whatever all right so you go let's see here mm -hmm. let's uh let's see oh mr uh Cause they're on a tank. Hmm. It's not really gonna matter if I push it. I did lose my energy explosion though, so that's a little too rough for my liking. Uh, I'm a ten for two. What's Guy Gardner got for defense? Right now, uh, Ice is defense. So he has an eighteen static. I believe he's on click three, so he has toughness. I guess he already has an 18 on click three anyway, so it's 18 tough. Okay. I'm going to run shot back one square, because I don't I'm think back. I can move more than one square. I have a four speed with running shot. Uh, I'll move back to one, two. and I'll shoot at Guy Gardner with in, uh, penetrating psychic blast. Ten attack for two. Ooh, Okay. That'll miss. I'm going to copy the outwit that uh, Bad Samaritan gave me. Yeah. I'm going to outwit Guy Gardner's whatever his speed power that lets him charge. Two fisted charge. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Get rid of that whole power. The whole Fine. thing. Oh, yeah. I'll take a damage. I'll go to click nine. Well. Pull up Oracle, outwit your little special defense there. Hmm. And Toughness. let's have... Yes. Yes. Correct. What is your its value right now? I pushed to a 16, I believe. 16. Yes. Yeah, I pushed to a 16. All right. I think... Yeah, Batman's on click 3... We'll push. We'll push. We're going to push Batman. He's going to charge to here. Ooh, and hit. Two damage. And then he'll go 
for two. Click 11. And he'll go uh, one, two, three, four. So here. Click four, though, for pushing. I garnered his little mift that you uh, took away. His, uh, his cool speed. So he's finally going to use his ranged combat expert. Oh, no. He's going to gonna blast you. All right, I'm just... So he has plus one damage because of ice, plus one attack because of ice. We're at... Uh, let's make it an 11 for four. All right, one into each, which gives him plus two to each because of ice and guys' traits. 11 for four, bazooka! <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> Come on, uh, man. That sucks. Fine, let's just move like that. Huntress here. It's funny, it looks like Huntress has two tokens. Um, I guess we'll move her to here instead. We're going to move Huntress to there. And I just... Clear, clear like Oracle, I guess. Clear, stupid, whatever. Fire, oh, here you go. I'm so mad. Um, I guess Batman had that light object, but whatever. Can uh, can vehicles shoot out of adjacency? I know they break away for free, but I don't know if they can shoot out of adjacency. You do. You just don't know if you have the strength to do it. It doesn't matter because I've got two action tokens. So I'm just going right, to right. uh, take the outwit. Uh, I'll go ahead and outwit Oracle's outwit. Truly a meta move. Does not matter at this point. It would have been a better move to do that beforehand. But I'll do that and I'll clear. All right. Um, not going to lie. I really want Guy to just rocket blast you in the face uh, to like kill you. So I'm just kind of miffed that I'm not doing that. So we're going to have Huntress instead uh, perplex up her attack value. And she's going to flurry you. Is it 10 or 2? Attack. Hits a 16. That'll hit. That'll take me to click 12. Right. Or no, click and 13. Sorry. Next attack. Ooh, we'll hit an 18. Another two damage. Oh, no. My tank explodes. Nice. Nice. And I'll take two damage. Is that how that works? Yeah, still take two damage. On a four through six, you take one. Three to one, you take two. Okay. So I'll take two damage. Good old bad Samaritan still in the fight, though. Uh, he's beaten Calder many times before, so I Great. don't doubt that he can't do it again. Uh, we'll go... Where do you want to want to put him in there, Simeon? Go heavy object right here. Okay. And we'll place him here. Except, except you were literally... <laughs> Uh, you can't put a heavy object there. You have to put it in the square that the tank was in. It's inner adjacent. The inner adjacent? Whatever, fine. You have you have the vehicle card with you. I do have the vehicle card. Give me a second. I'm reading the vehicle card. Yeah, my ID's expired, so I can't technically drive. I don't know how this works. The square it occupied. Generate a standard heavy object in a square it occupied. Uh, I'll go here. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I was right, you scumbag. All right. Cool. He's on click three. Uh, still still my turn. What's bad Sam rocking on click three, baby? Oh, he's got that super sweet mastermind super senses. Uh, stealth, uh, eight attack, pensai, two damage with outwit. And I can use it to counter a power or ability on a target. The same power or ability is also countered on any characters adjacent to the target. So if I get rid of Guard Gardener's uh, charge flurry, Ice also can't charge flurry. Dang, uh, that is crippling. Yeah, I knew this power um, would come in handy. I told you guys yeah. in the beginning, it was going to be yeah. real good. Yeah. Let's have Oracle power action. We're going to move Guy Gardener to here. And then we're going to have Ice incapacitate you. Can she see through stealth? You stealthed? I am stealthed. All right, well, she's not going to do that. Stealthed. As Mike Tyson would say. 
We're gonna move fire to here. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna clear Guy Gardner. All right. Almost seems like you want me to just punch uh fire lady. What's her oh, defense? I don't know what talking about. Uh it is a sixteen. Any powers going on? Uh why don't you uh why don't you roll and I'll tell you what, what power she's got, huh? Okay. So I've got, <laughs> no, I've got she's psychic got bliss, uh, blast ESD. and Okay. If she has ESD and then she has her whole you're gonna take a damage if you hit her with a close attack. Uh okay. So you just outwit her ESD and then sharpshooter her. Oh, you have sharpshooter on bad Sam? Oh, he of does. Of course I what? do. Yeah. And an eight attack. But this is a crit hit. Ah, it's a 17. I'll miss by one. Thank goodness. She has an 18? What? 60. Oh, no, no, no that's right. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. She has a 16 normal. How, so how that'll hit her you? for how much? For How much, Simeon? The biggest uh, damage of two. Mm. Which is two. Most All right. Sure to cook four. Yeah. Now I'm really cooking with oil. Sure I'm are. Cooking with fire. Cooking with oil fire. Okay, yes, and? I don't know. Anything I just, else you want to do there? I looked up the etymology of uh, the cooking with blank. Okay, awesome. Phrase. So it's my turns turn. Turns out there's right? like my seven turn. different versions of my it. Turn. My yeah, turn, yeah. Simeon. So it's my turn. All right. I have one uh, character fire, uh, I don't know if you can count fire, to my Fire is character. going to. <laughs> fire is going to poison you. Oh. I'll put me on click three or four. Sorry. And then we're going to power action Oracle again. Uh oh. Push to click four. Move Guy Gardner. Uh, he'll also carry ice with him there. You don't have stealth anymore, right? No. That's correct. Now, Guy Gardner is going to ranged combat expert all into attack. I uh, will have. When you crit miss, I'm just saying. We're going to have. Just putting it out into the universe. <laughs> Shut up. Don't you dare. We're going to have uh, Huntress also. Perplex up his damage value because he's already at a plus three attack now. It is a 12 to your, you know, it will perplex down your defense value with Huntress. Oh it is a 12 to your 14. 15 and hindering. It's. Shut up, Simi. From a 15. Zuka, Guy Gardner. All right. Since I share a keyword, I'm going to mastermind fair. that to Huntress. No. And she ah. is dead. But you don't even share a keyword with Huntress. I I have a man family two. birds of prey. Shut up. Is she not Shut checkmate up. or spy? No, she is not checkmate or spy. Well, fine. I All guess right. fire takes the damage. All though. right. No. Like you she like she has checkmate or spy. I don't know. She actually she has had... spy. Or she actually <laughs> does have spy. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> How mastermind works, but it is hilarious for this instance that it does. All right. Another epic Golden Age brawl has come to a close. Reminder, you can vote for what figures we use on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and the comment section of this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, bell notification, all that stuff. All right. Next week, I'm going to build from, I believe, it is the Amazing Spider-Man set. Yes, I am building from Amazing Spider-Man, and Simeon is building from <gasps> Fear Itself. Oh, Ooh, that's going to be a good. That's going to be a good matchup. Amazing Spider-Man's got some... So both of these sets actually have some funky stuff because Amazing Dude. Spider Man had the alter ego. Was that what it uh morph? So uh the, Spider Man had morph stuff, yeah. All the morph stuff. Um I I'm gonna throw out really quickly, I would love to play either Franken Castle or Howard the Duck and Man Thing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, those are definitely my two like top picks here. Uh that For, Ghost Rider uh, has aged Probably uh, not that man thing. The Howard the Duck and man yeah. thing. Come on. I was just gonna say before um, the change to poison, it was at the beginning. Of, well, not the change to poison. Before the beginning of the game or beginning of the turn effects and like all that stuff changed in 2017. Uh, I really liked this man thing, who could use poison and you rolled to see how much damage it dealt. So on a six, it could deal three. I really liked this one and the ADW one. Because they both had mystics, they both had poison at like some point in their dial, 
and the ADW one has a click where he becomes big and he can sidestep carry this one and then you could drop him and poison. Can't do that anymore, but it was still cool. Uh, the man thing and Howard the Duck. Was that a super yeah, rare? Yeah, super rare. Super rare, yeah, yeah. Okay. Scroll down. Should be right below Colleen Wing in them. Okay. All right. All right. There he is. Do it. Three, two, one. Howard the Duck and the man thing. I really hope we get to play him. I really like him. I like they're trapped in a weird world trait. Great. World they never made. So, I mean, choose choose a figure from uh, Fear Itself that you want to play. Oh, I don't know. There's there's so many. There's uh, no, just a ton. Playing, real quick. Uh, maybe the serpent at 600 points. <laughs> That'd be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I've ever talked about him on the podcast before, but uh, is it where where's his good dial? There it is. Uh, running shot, 13 attack, pulse wave, 7 damage, 9 range. The fear dial that uh, if you hit a group of people, you click it up for each one you hit. So I could pulse wave like six people, click it up six times. And then uh, when I have it between six and eight, I can do a free action at no co like a no cost action. So I can pulse wave again, click it up to 12, do another two free actions then, which I can just use pulse wave multiple times again. Uh, it's, it's a real fun piece. It's a real cool looking piece. Uh, on a more realistic note, if you guys actually want to see some cool stuff, um, I could do the resource, but like, we'll tone it down. Dracula is one of my favorite vampires of all time, and uh, what's the what is the uh, Kurth? Yeah, the Juggernaut with the uh, the hammer. He can carry people through walls and damage them. So that's... This is the first set. They're going to be able to vote resource yeah this is the first like that. actual set with a resource yeah. uh all the hammers i would suggest maybe voting for them as like a re uh as a relic i probably won't do the resource unless i get a ton of uh votes for it. Yeah, two or more votes really you'll probably do the resource uh, i always like this yeah, yeah, maybe you gonna make it like three make it at least three like an I, overwhelming yeah, because it's just gonna with the resource against Spider-Man, I'm just going to annihilate, annihilate Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Unless uh, unless I get, I don't know, it'd be this, really good. Just Craven the Hunter. Note, this Wolverine's one of my least favorites they've ever made. Oh. I think he's complete garbage. Uh, I don't like anything that he does. Even, like, the reversion thing. I don't I don't like anything about him. He's real bad. Please don't. At least, you got, a, at least you got a Wolverine in the set. Yeah, that's true. It didn't make Captain America, even though he had like the coolest version bad. ever. Uh, uh, oh yeah, the the Juggernaut Colossus is cool, but not as cool as Kurth. Uh, the Dracula is real sweet, especially if you heal once. Then you've got the blood armor, and then again the Serpent at seven hundred right. or six hundred points. Gnarly. Just the oh, uh, we could do, we could do a little boss battle, a little boss battle, Serpent uh, versus Spider Man stuff. That would be kind of fun. Yeah. Wow, that is an insane. 600 point line wow yeah this is what it used to be like this was the last literally, good yeah. colossal literally, yeah. literally poops on galactus here good lord yeah All right because well, he gets three attacks so you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the next one remember i will be building out of amazing spider-man simeon is building out of fear itself vote for your favorite figures or the figures you want to see played i'll see you in the next one